from our far-fetched department at Brightside comes this item for your consideration. What will happen if you wake up during surgery? Hey guys, it's absolutely normal to feel nervous if you're about to undergo an operation. Unfortunately, numerous urban legends exist about how things can go wrong during surgery. Such myths don't have any grounds, but they can escalate your anxiety. One such fear makes people wonder what will happen if they wake up when an operation is in progress. Like this. Yeah, what's up, Doc? Find anything where it's not supposed to be? Let's investigate this issue together. But first of all, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to join us on the Bright Side of Life. So, waking up during surgery is called anesthesia awareness, and it is an extremely rare occurrence. According to the American Society of Anesthesiologists, <laughs> can't you just imagine how exciting their meetings are? Only one person out of 10,000 wakes up from general anesthesia before an operation is finished. And if we speak about high-risk surgeries, this number drops to 1 in 40,000 patients. People usually receive general anesthesia before major surgery. It relaxes muscles and puts patients to sleep. Therefore, nobody feels the pain of an operation. The patient isn't aware of anything after anesthesia starts working. In addition, they don't remember anything when they wake up. Most people receive anesthesia through an IV. After a half a minute, they calmly drift off to sleep. The medications that are used for general anesthesia typically include hypnotics to reduce awareness, sedatives to relax the body, and narcotics to decrease pain. As soon as a patient falls asleep, these medications are transitioned to inhaled anesthetics. As for anesthesia awareness, this phenomenon is far from what most people take it to be. Waking up during surgery doesn't mean excruciating pain combined with paralysis. In a few reported cases of anesthesia awareness, patients could recognize that something was happening around them. Some people felt some pressure and slight pain. Others describe this experience as having a very vivid dream. In this dream, they were acutely aware of their surroundings. However, the most widespread reaction to anesthesia awareness is hearing sounds and voices coming from medical personnel. This may be explained by the fact that after the body receives anesthesia, the auditory system is the last to shut down. The least likely outcome of anesthesia awareness is opening your eyes during an operation. In any case, you should remember that the chances of waking up during surgery are minuscule. Here, that means very small. Your anesthesiologist is present throughout the whole procedure, and if something unusual happens, they will take care of this unexpected development. Moreover, according to the Royal College of Anesthesiasts in the UK, cases of anesthesia awareness that have been reported were short and lasted no longer than 5 minutes. You are at a slightly higher risk of experiencing anesthesia awareness if you're between 25 and 40 years old, you're overweight or obese, you're female, you have had several medical conditions. Particular types of surgeries may raise the risk of awareness. Such surgeries are mostly emergency operations after a serious injury, emergency C-sections, and some types of heart surgery. Even though anesthesia awareness can be an upsetting and stressful experience, it can't harm you. Remember that before any surgery, patients have a conversation with their anesthesiologist. You can lower the risk of waking up during an operation by telling your doctor as much as you can about your health conditions, problems you've had with anesthesia before, your worries and fears related to the surgery, all the medicines you take, from prescribed to over-the-counter ones, you should even mention herbal supplements, and how much coffee you plan to drink before the operation. No, that's not one. It's probably not a surprise that anesthesia awareness isn't the only fear people have when it comes to surgeries. Here are some more myths that make people avoid and postpone operations by any means possible. You will reveal all your secrets under anesthesia. Surprisingly, many people are worried that when they're receiving anesthesia, they will blurt out things they may regret later. This fear has no grounds. People do feel more relaxed under anesthetic, but they don't reveal anything unusual. 
What's more, in most cases, people just talk nonsense and don't try to acquaint medical personnel with their life stories. But even if you turn out to be that unique individual who manages to say something revealing in the operating room, the doctors won't pay any attention to this information. They know that their patient is under some serious medications. Thus, what is said in the operating room stays in the operating room. Well, all that being equal, I'd rather be in Las Vegas myself. You will behave aggressively when anesthesia is wearing off. Such cases were common in the past when diethyl ether was used as an anesthetic. This substance started to fulfill the function of anesthesia in 1842. Unfortunately, diethyl ether not only made patients aggressive, but also evoked severe nausea and vomiting. Well, that's not very pleasant, is it? That's why it was replaced with improved forms of anesthetics as soon as they were developed. Nowadays, people might start to behave in a crazy way when their anesthesia is wearing off, but they won't demonstrate outright aggression. Instead, they might keep asking the same questions over and over again because their short-term memory is temporarily, let us say, really goofed up. Or they mix faces and names and take the doctor to be their best friend. But the most common state after anesthesia is grogginess and sleepiness. You will have nightmares after anesthesia is administered. Most people describe being under anesthesia as a blackout. They report falling asleep and then waking up, seemingly a couple of minutes later. This means that even if they were dreaming, they don't remember anything at all. However, about 20% of patients who have undergone general anesthesia remember dreaming. But these dreams aren't nightmares. On the contrary, they are typically quite pleasant and resemble the dreams people have during sleep. Those who manage to see dreams under anesthesia are mostly younger males, who usually remember what they dream about in their everyday life. Specialists suggest that dreams under anesthesia happen during the recovery period, which is when patients are still sedated but already in a sleep state. You will get addicted to opioids after anesthesia. It's a well-known fact that opioids are a part of general anesthesia. They are used to numb the pain during an operation. Many people have a fear of becoming addicted to these opioids after receiving anesthesia. As a matter of fact, that's not what you should be worried about. The doses of opioids used during surgery aren't enough to develop an addiction. What makes people dependent on drugs is overuse of painkillers after surgery. Researchers from the University of Michigan figured out that some surgeons prescribe a greater allowance of medication than some patients end up using. The study involved 170 people who had previously undergone gallbladder surgery. It turned out that 100 people took only 6 pills out of the 50 prescribed ones. This is why you should be extremely cautious with your opioid medications. Discuss this subject with your doctor. Remember that after 5 days of taking opioids, physiological dependence already starts to set in. You will see the afterworld under anesthesia. Some people believe that they will be able to see the afterworld when they are under anesthesia just like people who have experienced clinical death. But the notions of being under anesthesia and experiencing clinical death are as far from each other as they can be. Clinical death happens when the heart stops beating and, as a result, breathing and blood circulation cease. As for general anesthesia, it's a medically induced reversible coma and it is controlled by doctors. It has been mentioned before that in this state, you won't feel anything. Even if you dream about something, you won't remember your dreams afterward. In any case, you won't have an out-of-body experience when you're under anesthesia. So, have you ever experienced general anesthesia? How about captain anesthesia or major anesthesia? Maybe sergeant? Okay, I'll stop. If so, tell us all about it in the comments below. Hit the like button if at least some of your surgery fears have been relieved. Share this video with your friends, and once you're off the anesthesia, remember to subscribe to this channel to join us on the Bright Side of Life.